Yo, welcome back to Varied Train, and we're going to do a simple video on how you can start casting a bait caster. Let's go. What are some of the reasons you'd want that bait caster over a traditional reel like this, typically a Zebco style reel? Well, the bait caster offers a little bit more performance and fine tuning. You can get different reels that reel quicker or slower for different applications of fishing. You can stop your line if you make a bad cast or you want to land in a certain area a lot easier than with a Zebco or traditional reel. You can also have different settings on how you like to cast, for example, by adjusting your spool tensioner or your braking system. They just offer a lot better performance if you want to start upgrading your fishing and being more accurate with the way you cast. So let's get into the basic reel. You've been using this since you were a little kid and now it's time to upgrade, but you all know it. Here is the button to release the line. You hold this button, you come back, and you go forward and release the button, all right? And that will cast it. Here is your reeling handles and your drag. Other than that, that's it for a Zepco. Let's look at a bait caster real quick, all right? Your button, almost in the exact same spot as the Zepco, it's right here, okay? And that is the same on every bait caster. Also the same on every bait caster is this little knob right here. That is the spool tensioner. It allows the spool to be tight or loose and it can help you cast further or control a little bit of your casting. Also in that same category is your braking system. Now this will vary from reel to reel and you have a min and a max and everything in between, okay? That will also help the flying time of your cast to, to be a little bit more fine-tuned. Your drag on a bait caster is typically in the same spot on every bait caster as well. It is this star looking thing right here that I'm turning, okay? And that's your drag setting. Well, we won't get into that. You can look at how to set your drag depending on what kind of fishing you're doing or what kind of line you're throwing. So getting into bait casting, what you have to do to get to start casting? Well, you do have to push the button to get started. But instead of holding the button, your thumb actually holds this spool. See how it turns? You have to stop that and put your thumb on that to actually stop the line from going out. Now, on every different reel and different lure option, depending on the weight, you'll have to set your bait caster for success. Well, how do we do that? That's what this video is about. Because if you get it all wrong, you get a big, big, nest buildup of line and that can ruin your day or take away from fishing. Okay, so let's just pretend that I picked up this reel. It's either brand new or someone gave it to me. The first thing I'm going to do to try to get this thing to cast effectively but safely is I'm going to check and see how loose the line runs out with that lure. So whatever weight it is or whatever lure you got, they all vary in weight. So what I like to do is I like to push the button and I'm holding the spool with my thumb here and I let go all right and I look up at the weight or the lure and it's not going down what I like to do is to adjust this spool tensioner until it starts going down on its own without me holding it slowly so if, as I loosen it we see that it starts to just go on its own that is a really good starting point for a bait caster Okay, so now that we have that set, what we wanna do is go over to the braking system and what you can or can't see is one side is max brakes, the other is min brakes. What I like to do is I like to go to the middle, right here in the middle, and go a little tighter by two clicks. So go to the max brakes, okay? Min brakes would be all the way up like this. That is completely Breakless, all right? We don't want to do that. So go to the middle and go one or two more clicks to the brakes. I'll try it again. I'll hold that button and I don't need to hold the button anymore. I'm just holding the spool with my thumb and I'm going to just test it again 
see if it drops by itself, which it does. See it dropping? All right. At that point, I'm gonna go ahead and try and cast. So when we cast this, we'll push the button and we'll hold the spool with our thumb, just as we were holding the Zebco button when we were throwing with the Zebco. I'll come back and with it as I'm holding. And when I come forward, I let go of it with my thumb. All right, I don't know if you saw that, but as the lure gets to touch the water or gets to be about to land in the water, what I like to do is I like to put my thumb back on the stool to stop the lure. So if you cast a bait caster hard, say you make a bomb cast or really any cast, and your thumb is off and this is spooling out and the lure is traveling, once it hits the water, it's going to stop automatically, but this spool will keep going and it will cause you to have what they call a backlash or a big nest of line. And in order to get that to not do that, I always like to push or touch the spool, stop the spool with my thumb right as it touches the water. Again, coming back, back, let go, and touch. All right, get used to casting it. All right, start slow. And as you get more comfortable with casting it, you can mess around more with the brakes and the spool tensioner, okay? And you can start setting that to the optimum casting ability that, uh, that you wanna set it for. Guys, you will experience backlashes. It happens to the best of us. It happens to the pros every once in a while. It's all part of fishing. So don't get discouraged if you get a backlash. If you get a backlash, get it out there's plenty of youtubes on how to get them out and go back and before you cast again tighten that spool tensioner a little bit okay and try again and then in the next cast back off that spool tensioner just a little bit or the brakes find the sweet spot guys thanks for watching i hope this video helps you get to the next level of fishing and we'll see you soon bye